By reading the electrical signals of our brains, scientists have developed brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, to connect machines directly with our minds. In the past year, a community of engineers, artists, and makers has come together because of OpenBCI, an open source company based in Brooklyn. By offering affordable hardware powered by open source technology, OpenBCI empowers the DIY community to reimagine how we interact with machines. I've been involved in open source hardware since about 2008, practicing it, using it, uh, trying to design around it. We started OpenBCI, which is an open source brain computer interface platform. This weekend, we are running our first hackathon. This is what we've been waiting for, is to actually have the tech in the wild and to be able to teach people how to use it and to bring people together. People who have experience with brain computer interfaces, people who have no experience with brain computer interfaces, but everyone has a stake or an interest at least in the space. So it's just been really exciting to have everyone come in here and to kind of demonstrating what all these signals mean and how they can be used to understand who we are. In order to get started with our kit, attach the six volt AA battery pack to the open BCI board. Next, attach our electrode cables to the board. And now it's time to attach each electrode to the body. The brain, muscle, and heart's electrical signals can now be visualized through the graphic user interface. It's really awesome to see people witnessing their own brain activity for the first time. We should see a heartbeat. You don't have a heartbeat right now. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so each time she blinks her eyes, you can see these, these big spikes here. You see all those spikes? Those are EMG artifacts, electrical muscle activity. This hackathoner is measuring his brain waves associated with concentration as he plays a computer game. Our hackathoners work to control each of these robotic toy spiders through the power of their brain activity. A little more, there we go. This hackathoner is controlling this robotic arm using an EMG electrode. When he flexes his forearm, the electrical impulses generated by his muscles trigger the robotic arm to move. The robotic arm itself is entirely open source and was printed with a 3D printer. In this demonstration, each hackathoner concentrates on one independent command to collectively utilize their thoughts and steer this inflatable shark through the air. Innovation happens faster when software and hardware is open source, when people can change it and modify it to their desire. I think what's really important is presenting a, a tool both for research and for learning to people of younger generations who can approach the entire problem space from an inquisitive perspective where they're like, I don't know what I can do with this yet, but no one really does. This community of DIY cyborg enthusiasts and innovators are growing larger every day. OpenBCI have hosted hackathons all over the world to encourage and foster the next generation of BCI devices. With the help of dreamers, makers, and experimenters, more applications for this technology will soon be discovered. And for now, we can move a freaking inflatable shark with our minds. Come on, that is cool as hell. Want more Cyborg Nation? Then hit that subscribe button.